Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Guillotine 2099 and what makes her so good. So first, we're going to take a look at her attributes here. Uh, you can see the champion tags that she is equipped with. All right, and then down here on her attributes, you see crit rating, crit damage rating, armor penetration, block penetration, critical resistance, armor rating, and block proficiency. Now, something I wanted to mention, block penetration, crit resistance, and armor rating. You don't often see that on champions. There are quite a few champions that have those three blank, uh, or at least two of those. Block penetration, crit resistance are blank. Um, uh, you know, armor penetration also blank. All right. Uh, most of them do have some armor rating and the block proficiency while hers is not as high as I would like, she does have some things that make up for it. And we'll talk about that when we go over her abilities. But I just wanted to bring your attention to that block penetration, uh, especially because you don't see it very often. So hitting into their block, if you're fighting with her or getting hit into your block when you're fighting against her, uh, this is why you might see uh, more damage than you normally would. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at her synergies. Now, this first synergy, AI Uprising, is awesome. Okay, look at who the synergies are with. Warlock, Sentinel. Okay, those two alone, I have them both at rank five. Then you got Nebula, who is underrated. She is an awesome champion. And Darkhawk, he kind of needs to be awakened with a high sig and a synergy. Um, but the fact that you have Warlock and Sentinel as the synergy partners, beautiful. Okay. And let's take a look down here. This next one also is quite good. Her D-Gen is going to do more damage. And Morningstar, I'm not a big fan of her ramp up time. She seems to take more effort than I'm willing to put in to ramp her up. When she's up there though, she's a beast. Uh, and then you have OG Guillotine, which a lot of people may not realize how good she is. You know, she's she's old. Uh, I have a Guillotine. I finally awakened her, but I used my Guillotine in my first Realm of Legends run against Winter Soldier. I mean, uh, uh, not Winter Soldier, but I used her against uh, Wolverine. And she's good, okay? She has a heal reversal, on her special two. And as we'll see, Guillotine 2099 also has something like that as well. All right, then you've got Punisher 2099 for some more crit rating. And why should you have crit rating when she can't crit normally? We'll talk about that. Uh, and then you've got the uh, attack bonus for Mephisto. Now, Punisher 2099 is getting a buff. He is up for a buff very, very soon. So, those are some pretty decent synergies, okay? Let's take a look over here. And I don't have this one awakened. I just pulled her as a five star, not awakened. So the only one that I have awakened is a four star. This signature ability to me is, it's not worthless, but she doesn't need to be awakened at all, okay? I would take her all the way up without being awakened. All her awakened ability does is give her a chance to proc a combo shield. Okay, that's it, really. Uh, not, in my opinion, uh, worth holding out on uh, ranking her up, and it's not what makes this champion good. Okay, so down here we see that she is immune to bleed and poison, which makes her great for suicides. Okay. Now, once per fight, when she drops below 15% health, she's going to regen, okay? Great. Now, here's something about that regen. It triggers immediately when you start the fight if she's below 15% health. So you can finish a fight, you go down to 50% health, you regen up, and then you get down and you barely beat them. The next fight... You're going to regen up, okay? That has saved many people resources, especially in Alliance Quest, okay? She is great. 
Very, very good, all right? Her basic attacks, we mentioned this earlier, but she can't crit normally, okay? Uh, now, she has some pre-fight abilities, and one of them will allow her to crit. But this not being able to crit naturally is huge if you're going up against spiked armor, because spiked armor does damage based on the crits you do. So if you don't crit, you're not taking that damage back. Um, she is also good for flow in Alliance War, which also gives them a power gain when they crit. And so since she doesn't crit, she doesn't trigger it. So she is great for flow. Okay. Uh, and there's other, you know, places where she's good. Anytime uh, crits will do damage to you, she's great. Okay. Now notice that she also puts a degen when she would crit. And notice that it has a chance based on critical rating. So that's why you want to have her crit rating up. Even though she can't crit naturally, you want to have the crit rating up so that you can get those degens more often. And those degens are what make her good for safeguard. Now I have two videos. If you haven't watched them, I took her in and showed what she could do against safeguard and spiked armor. Okay, so do a search on my channel. Take a look at those videos if you want to see some gameplay on her um, in those situations. Okay, so now you talk about these Digisouls. These are persistent charges, okay? Uh, she begins the quest with two, and each one provides 16% defensive combat power rate. So she's going to regen, or not regen, but she's going to gain power uh, a little bit faster. Okay, uh, Digisouls are refunded after each fight uh, and can be spent to enhance Guillotine's sword in the pre-fight screen. More on that in a moment here. Uh, at the start of the fight, if Guillotine has at least one Digisoul, she gains an armor up buff. So that armor up buff makes her a great havoc counter because she's not going to get those plasma charges. But keep in mind, you have to have at least one Digisoul. So don't go running into the Havoc uh, fight. Use up your Digisouls and then wonder why you're getting wrecked. Now, this is an indefinite buff. So she's going to get one back if anything happens to it in four seconds. That can be a blessing and a curse. If you're fighting someone who, uh, let's say, like Longshot or, for example, Mojo, then it might not be such a good thing because you're going to just keep getting buffs and buffs and you're going to get degen based on the buffs that you were getting. So just keep that in mind, okay? So here are her pre-fight abilities, all right? At the beginning of a fight, you can choose one of these and it's going to cost one Digisoul each, which means you can get two of these. Remember, she gets two. But if you use two, then if you're fighting Havoc, you don't have that armor up. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the first one, this is the one that allows her to crit. Every 20th attack, she will crit. And if that 20th attack is a special, all of the hits in the special crit. So what you want to do is if you chose that one, you want to do your combo. And as soon as you hit 19, then you hit the special. So the special will be 20. It'll be a crit. And all the rest of the hits are crits. Okay, then you've got the second one. When she's above 99 hits on her combo meter, uh, she does a lifesteal on the uh, medium attacks. Uh, and then the final one does a power gain or a power burn on the mediums. So she has a little flexibility. If you're going into a fight where you need a little bit of power control, you can use the assault function. If you want to gain some health, then the stability function. But let me warn you about something. She has to be over 99 hits on her combo. And that's not a simple thing because she does not carry over hits. Okay, and we'll talk about it when we get down. But um, her special three is the only way that she's going to start a fight with a high hit combo. Okay. Uh, then we got her heavy attacks. They activate a combo shield. So 
say you have a, a high combo and you don't want to lose it, you want to fire off your heavies, okay? Now, this to me is not quite as nice as having uh, a, a combo shield activate like Aegon's combo shield activates. Because, say, and this has happened to me many times, say I go in and I've, I've built it all up and I'm at a hundred and something combo. Okay, started the fight with a hundred combo and I'm like, okay, I don't want to lose this combo. So I parry, heavy, parry, heavy. And then the next time I might miss a parry or something and get hit with a five hit combo, combo is gone because it's only one per combo. It's not, you know, a, um, what do you call it? it it's not a, a shield that's going to save the combo for a duration. It's going to be every hit removes a combo shield. So if you had only two and you get hit three times, you lose your combo. So just bear that in mind. Uh, you can, if you have uh, two digit souls, you can stack it up uh, pretty high so that you could save yourself in case of a five hit combo. All right. Now, her attack rating increases with every hit of her combo meter, capping after 100 hits. Okay, but af at 100 hits, uh, something changes. So notice that it's a 30% or a 30 plus 30 for every hit. But when you get to 100, that's when the big boy damage starts. Then you have 40 direct damage for each hit. And it scales. She doesn't uh, really. I mean, it says she has a cap of 600. Most fights are not going to last that long. Okay. Her damage is insane. Uh, I haven't seen a fight where uh, she gets to 600 hits. But most of the fights are going to be over. Labyrinth of Legends fights don't last that many hits. Okay. So very, very, very good. But it's over 100 hit combo. And if you lose your combo, you need to build it back up in that fight. You know, kind of like a Star Lord. All right. Now, when she's attacked by a light or a medium attack, she has a chance to activate that digit cloak, which will cause attacks to miss. So notice that it's light and medium. Okay. And what you want to do if you're fighting her is attack that knocks her down that's not a light or a medium so hit her with a heavy attack or hit her with a special attack then it'll go on cooldown and then you don't have to worry about that and you can do your regular combos naturally uh but notice at the bottom and this has caught me because i didn't know that at first uh and i was wondering why was her cooldown so short it's because i was fighting her with a mutant champion okay so when you're fighting her with a mutant champion, it's cut in half. Okay, so 10 seconds, it's going to go down to five seconds. And so it that basically, I would not fight her with a mutant if I can help it just because that's annoying. Okay, but at least you'll know that that's what happens when she fights a mutant. Okay, so here are her special attacks. Special attack one is notable because of the power drain. And notice what it does on the power drain. 20% of the power per Digisoul. Okay, so if you have two, you know, or, you know, you didn't use any, and you have two, you know, you're going to drain like uh, 60%. All right, or, or I guess it's 40%, because uh, it says 20% per Digisoul. I wonder if uh, you've already used up all of them uh, it probably won't do any power drain. I'm not sure on that. Uh, now, it increases to 40% per Digisoul if the attack doesn't make contact. Oh, that has annoyed me. Because if you block the special one or you evade the special one, you're still going to get hit. So that's special, I mean, the uh, power drain. You're still going to get hit with the power drain. So the special attack one is going to power drain them unless... You're fighting someone like, oh, I don't know, Venom, okay? Uh, or someone who can reduce her ability accuracy or something like that. Special attack two. Remember I mentioned that 
old uh, OG guillotine had a heal reversal. Well, on her special attack two, it'll inflict a specter debuff, which reduces the opponent's regeneration rate by 120%, which means for 12 seconds, if you can get them to fire off some regen, you're going to get that um, heal reversal. And I do have a video on that already, uh, Realm of Legends, Wolverine, uh, with this guillotine. And in my opinion, this one is much easier to use than the old guillotines was. And then the special attack three, if they are at 5% or less, it will knock them out. But look at the next sentence. This damage can be prevented or reduced. So when I took her in against Safeguard, and it was 5%, and I fired off the special three, it did not knock them out. Okay? So it can be prevented or reduced. Okay? It says it right there. Uh, if Guillotine uses that attack to knock out her opponent, she's going to start the fight, the next fight, at 100 hits. And remember, that's when she starts doing the big girl damage. Okay, uh, if you ever hear people talk about, you know, my guillotine is charged up, it means that she ended her last fight with a special three. Um, now, I've had some frustrating times. I'll, I'll go through, I'll finish the fight with a special three, then the next fight will be over so quickly I can't even get to a special three. So that means I lose the combo uh, for the next fight after that. So it can be a little bit annoying. If you're fighting beefy champions, then she shines a little bit better. Okay, so we'll show a little bit of gameplay. I, even though I have a lot of gameplay already on her on the channel, we'll finish this off with, you know, some quick fights uh, to showcase what she can do. All right, so this shows you how dedicated I am to making this video for you guys. I'm going back into Labyrinth of Legends. I do not like that place. I don't like long fights. This fight was long, okay? Uh, I was ramping her up, and that's one of the drawbacks to me of Guillotine 2099, is that the first fight, it's going to be some ramp up, okay? So we're going to have two fights to end this video. And don't worry, I actually speed up a portion of this first fight. You can see her pre-fight abilities there. Uh, and you can see the team that I went in here with, okay? So this first fight is against Red Hulk. Okay, so my basic strategy here is to build up my combo as quickly as I can. And I also want to protect my combo. So we're not gonna speed it up right just yet because I want you to see how I do it, okay? so. He has a special one that's pretty easy to evade and to counter. So I didn't do it there, okay? Um, but I'm still building up my uh, combo here, getting used to the fight, warming myself up, uh, and my combo is pretty low anyway, you know? So nothing to really protect here, okay? So now you see here, here we go. Boom, hit him with a heavy. Look at the uh, combo shield up there. Now, if I get hit with a five hit combo at this point, that shield doesn't mean a thing. So I need to build that shield up, all right? Uh, and we do that. So we're speeding the video up a little bit here and we're gonna slow it back down once I have like a 300 hit combo. You can slow it down yourself uh, if you wanna watch this fight on YouTube. I believe they have the uh, controls to do that. And just look at my combo shield. I got it all the way up there. So even if I take a nasty hit, then I won't lose my combo. Okay, so good times, good times. I'm, I'm feeling pretty safe with the uh, six. And I believe that's as much as you can get, actually. Um, I tried it uh, to go a little bit further, and I wasn't able to get it any further. All right, but now we've got a 300 hit combo. Remember I said uh, that even though her cap is 600, 
not too many fights go to 600 hit combo and as you can see here this fight's not going to go to a 600 hit combo all right but i wanted you to look at the damage she's doing with this combo now keep in mind if i don't finish this fight with a special three i will have to do that entire thing all over again that's my only complaint about her uh but for long fights she is awesome so you see here i almost finished him off without the special three but i did go ahead and fire off that special three so i will start the next fight uh with a 100 hit combo and we are going to see that fight we're going to take out old man logan all right but that's going to do it guys uh watch the video i'm not going to talk all over it uh, you can fast forward that video if you like, but I wanted you to see what the fight looks like when she starts with a 100 hit combo. It's much, much faster than that fight, okay? So take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day. <laughs>
It's like we're speaking on the surface, but something sounds scripted about all the verbiage. Like everything we think came from another person, and we didn't take time to think if it's worth it. To act as a service to only a few human perspectives. Now we got humanity section by politics, culture, religion, perspective. None of us have accurate depth perception. It's been messed with, and I feel headless. No wonder I'm trying to convert that dude in the uniform to a dead. Get this, my head is full of death cuts. It's a dead ship full of phantoms and redness on the walls from a plush shed. No angels left in heaven, and in turn, I'm the one they sent in. Close your eyes, then get in. This is one hell of a head trip. Most isolated, now watch that echo. I'm isolated everywhere like presto. I don't really know how to keep a friend. Some think that they don't get though. And that sparks my Roscoe. Now I'm fing with all your heads, yo. Through the scope rooftop and I'm low. Between heaven and ghetto. It appears that I'm on top now.